Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 Special Projects replica build for you today. And this time it's a replica of a racing version of the Aston Martin Vantage. Now we're using the V12 Vantage to build this car, but technically the real car is not the V12 Vantage, it's actually the V8 Vantage. But this is as close as we can currently get to that car on the game. Now it's an N24 class race car, which is a Nuremberg Ring endurance race car. It's running pretty much stock specs, a little bit less weight, but virtually stock spec, but with improved handling and more hardcore grip and brakes, etc. So it has a very simple visual look, but I will run through what I've done to it anyway. Then of course we'll go over to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup and then finally take it out to the Nuremberg Ring to see how it performs as a race car. Now, as far as the visual spec of the Vantage N24, it's actually a relatively simple looking car. It's pretty close to the production model. Now, technically, it doesn't have as pronounced a diffuser on the back, or the flat floor, as it's commonly known on Gran Turismo, or not as pronounced as on the game, but I have opted to fit that because it does improve the look, make it look more like a race car, and more importantly, increase its PP and its grip. Now, there is a body kit available, but as I said, it looks like a relatively stock car, so it depends how accurate you want to be. It's more accurate if you don't use the body kit. Obviously, I have used the flat floor, as I mentioned. It doesn't have a rear wing. As far as the rims, it has big chunky 5 spoke rims, I've gone for the standard rim size which is already more than big enough, and for the actual rim size on this we've gone for GT AB 5 spoke rims. I've opted not to go for additional meters, it is a racing base model so I completely understand people who do want those, I just don't personally like them in most of my cars. Now as far as the colour, I tried to get a yellow that was as close as possible to the yellow on the N24 race car. It's kind of a, a pale yellow, so the yellow that I went for is mustard yellow, which you can get from a number of different Lotus models. As far as the wheels, we've gone for metallic silver, obviously, and the silver which I've used comes from the Tommy Kyra ZZ2. And then for the brakes, we've gone for black, because with racing cars often you don't really notice the brakes, it's all about the rims. And I've gone for Crystal Galaxic Black, which comes from the SLR McLaren. It's a pretty expensive black to get if you're buying the car just for that. So you can use other blacks, such as Phantom Black from the Chaparral VGT, etc. But overall, apart from obviously putting a race number on there, that's pretty much it for the visual look. It's, as I said, a very simple car to get the look of, which is kind of cool because many replicas don't really look accurate enough, whereas this one's actually not too far off. So now we'll go over of course to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup. Now as I mentioned, this Vantage race inversion is based on the V8, so it does have a significantly lower spec than the V12 naturally does, so this car is technically speaking slower in some ways, such as in a straight line compared to stock, but it has vastly improved handling, and this isn't about making the car better, it's just about replicating a different model. So I've gone for racing soft tyres, obviously everyone has their own preference there, racing brakes, obviously. For the ride height on the suspension we've got 70 front and rear, because you want it to be low, but you don't really want it to be slammed, it doesn't need to be all the way to the ground really. Springs we've increased to 1525 and 1625, the dampers to 5 all round, anti-roll to three. Camber is on one, but that's mostly for the look, to be honest, to have that tiny little bit of stance that the actual car does have. Again, you don't have to do that. It can run very well on zero camber. Neutral toe as well. We'll come back to the gearbox in just a second. For the diff, we've got the initial torque on 20 to keep the handling relatively stiff, not overly stiff, but to prevent the car from oversteering as much as it would usually be inclined to. Acceleration we've got on 40, braking as low as possible to keep it controlled and straight and true under braking. As far as the power, as I mentioned it does have less power, 380 horsepower, we've already got an oil change so we've dropped it down to 71.2% power. You want the stage 2 weight reduction, 
the body coloured bonnet which gives you those nice bonnet pins, the window weight reduction and then a 157 kilo ballast which brings us up to the actual weight of the N24 race car. It's a pretty heavy car because as I mentioned it's close to production spec. We've increased that ballast to 4% towards the front to improve that 50-50 split. And finally for the gearbox, we are running the exact gear ratios of the actual N24 race car, which is an auto setting of 199 and individual gears of 3154, 1974, 1435, 1148, 935 and 775 with a final drive of 3.909. So that's it for the tune setup overall. As you can see, it's not as PP relevant as I would usually like them to be. If you do want the PP to be higher with the same spec, as I've done with some of my other tunes, you can fit these parts, such as all of the race parts, which will increase your red line, and then reduce the power down to 380, and you'll find that even though it has the same amount of power, because you've done it with the parts, your PP will be higher. So for instance, if you fit all of these parts and then restrict it again down to 380 horsepower, your PP instead of being 516 will be probably more like 530, maybe even more. So it depends how high you want the PP to be. But that's it overall for the mechanical setup. Now let's finally take it out to, of course, the Nuremberg Ring to see how it performs. Now, I have categorically not built this replica for it to be the fastest physically possible for the car or for its PP. It is purely a replica. This is a car for people who love Aston Martin, who would like to have a representation of one of Aston Martin's racing models on the game, because currently, of course, we have no Aston Martin race cars, which is kind of strange, but so far we've seen from GT Sport that we are getting at least one Vantage race car but we'll have to see how that pans out. But getting back to this project, this car is, as I said, for fans. And for fans of the Vantage N24, I think you'll be quite happy with it. It has tons of grip, fantastic brakes, the fact that it has less power to deal with, and a fairly decent amount of weight to ground those rear tyres, means that it handles really nicely. It feels close to production spec, but with kind of a touring car feel to it. And it also makes a very good endurance race car, which is exactly what it's designed to be, an N24 car. So, if you decide to use this replica of the N24, obviously I hope you find it fun and competitive. And if you're new to the channel and would like to keep up with tunes like this as soon as they're released, be sure to hit subscribe down below. And as always, thanks for watching.